guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this episode of Sit, Sit Tight Podcast. Podcast. Woo! Um, today we've got a guest, a special guest. One of my haters. <laughs> Not the hater. <laughs> <laughs> Not the hater. Um, over here we've got crabs. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, what's good, everyone? What's good, everyone? Yeah, all right. Yeah, so he's gonna come and he's gonna give his um gender, um, their side of the story. Yeah, because he feels like. Shannon, yay! Specifically, wow, <laughs> he's a man hater. Yeah, man. So yeah, so he's here to give his side. Um, but before we get into all of that, and we're also gonna delve into some dilemmas and things like that. I saw an Instagram post. Um, so a girl was on the tube, and she got you know when sometimes they do the airdrop, you can airdrop. People. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So she got an airdrop um, from like a message on notes, and it was like. Hi, I guess I'm permitted to say you are exceptionally beautiful and I am speechless by your beauty. Anyway, sorry to disturb your journey. It's just that I can't help it. I guess no doubt you deserve to get the beauty golden cup. Huh? Oh, you're a babe. Thank you for telling me I'm so beautiful. Wow. But the girl, the girl basically said... <laughs> The girl basically said, I am unsure as to what this man's intent was, but I can't explain the impact. I felt fearful, isolated and vulnerable, not knowing who is who this unidentified person was and then being able to send unsolicited messages and pictures with impunity really shook me. Maybe it was quabs. Firstly, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm comfy. Don't worry. <laughs> Be ready. <laughs> It just started. Firstly, I rate the guy for his movements, innit? Because, right. like, airdrop, what's it called? You can send anything to everyone, innit? Yeah. But the thing is, you can also... Um, the settings, you can choose contacts only. Yeah. But carry on your point. Yeah, now. like, yeah. obviously, it's a creative way to move to the, to the lady, innit? Yeah. Because, for example, say a random stranger approaches one of you on the train or whatever, are you going to listen to him? No. You're gonna just have your AirPods in yeah. or whatever. If you have wired <laughs> headphones, um, how does it look? Yeah, like, but from this, we don't know if she yeah, finds yeah. him attractive. He, yeah. we just know that he finds her attractive. She's scared. So yeah, she's, she's afraid, isn't it? She's scared. She's but um, yeah, I think it's creative. Yeah. When it bangs. Yeah. Mm. If it don't bang. But do you think it should awkward. be this like? Oh, how? I mean, she's That's using so bare cool. countdown words, yeah. Because but. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what's it? Impunity. impunity. Or, yeah, that's a bit too much. Not a counter. Even like she's I'm playing gonna... Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you don't want to receive these unsolicited messages or pictures, why is your setting on for everyone you know to what I mean? be able exactly. to send you? To exactly. Send you this? I think she's exaggerating a little bit because it's on the train. It's not like it's just you and a guy in an alley in it in an alley and those with the, were, were the only two people in the yeah, carriage exactly that that is a bit creepy yeah but like it's a train and there's so many different people on there like i once received one and had porn oh this is that's my like, fault for leaving your set i know that i swear i have never changed it so quickly <laughs> i opened it and it's the sound oh my yeah. the sound and, and it was that I was, I was traumatized yeah but yeah i just think that but then sometimes our men <laughs> <laughs> do men feel very like um what's the word um entitled thank you For, in terms of why do you feel so entitled to send me this message on the tray <laughs> That's what, like I said, it's a creative way to, to move to her, isn't it? Because it's not all the time that so, your success rate is going to be successful if you're, I'm um, sitting here, yeah. you're sitting there. Hey, and then he said everything that he said there. Yeah. When do you think he would have been able to finish all of that? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Because the message was long. Am I lying? Am I lying? So you, are you going to sit saying. there, let him finish? Oh, you are the epitome of my being and all, all of that. <laughs> yeah. You can't on one knee and say that to me. It's okay. Yeah, like, no, but, like, that's why I said it's creative. Um, it's a, it is a little bit creepy. It's creepy, yeah, <laughs> but it's creative at the same time, isn't it? 
Do you know what I'm saying? I have so, a different viewpoint. God, guys. Don't be devil's advocate. Okay. We don't actually know what this girl's been through, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. So for, for this message to come out of nowhere, it may have triggered her. I hear it. Okay. So triggered like, her with what? You don't know how people are on the train, you know? Oh, that's true. Like, the thing that's is, maybe true. she may have got messages in the past which may. This Bad is, experience on the train or something, and it's yeah, bringing it back up. True. Yeah, that's true. You know, like, yeah. You like know these things that happen on the train and that just maybe or maybe she was just having a bad day or maybe that ran into her ex or yeah. somebody in her life or yeah the, the, the trigger words her. yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, so, there's something called love bombing that could have been a love bomb that should have been like someone is it love, love bombing when you are in a relationship or is it no. before mm, i thought you could do it before okay what is love bombing? it's like you're just <laughs> it's so it's like it's like basically it's like you know how it's like oh you're this you're that you're that but like all the time it's like oh, okay, like, been, like okay. suffocating oh okay so okay. how much you know that the thing is imagine she's trying to escape somebody and she just gets that message and reminds, reminds her of that person true and i can't lie sis why your sentence like that because if you yeah just it's like of. leaving your door open in your house you want strangers to come in so why's your door open so why you do you always have, have to, to do it it doesn't matter <laughs> 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 listen like, yeah every episode Listen, everyone loves my analogies. It's okay. <laughs> Should we dive into the dilemmas? Yes, oh God, let's God. go. Okay, okay. Where's the first one? The first one is quick and simple. Drifting from my mate. What do I do? Or I feel a drift. Drift. <laughs> ah. It's a drift. In this life, why are you forcing it? No, it's true. No, that's true. Why are you forcing it? If, but what if like, it's like a friend that you've been... But the thing is, you naturally grow apart. True. I think you said this in a in one of the previous episodes, yeah. Mm. Like you just naturally grew apart from yeah. like close people. Yeah. Like myself, when I was in secondary school, I was close with a lot of people. Mm. Now, like I'll see them every now and again, mm. even message them now and again. A lot of them I've lost contact with them just because we've drifted away in life. So it could be a natural thing. But <laughs> <laughs> if you're that friend that's bare trying to hold on, mm. breathe. Mm. <laughs> no, said breathe. Like, breathe like you don't want to be that what's it that clingy friend mm. that everyone wants to get away from now that's mm. true that's true but so, so you've just think that they should just let it go if it's just if it's it naturally go. going like that then you should don't you think a but, conversation needs to be had yeah but if it's unnatural that's when it's like yo what's going on like i feel like we're, we're we're drifting what's going on then the other person can be like you know what lately i just feel like i'm not trying to chat to no one right so, so what can be an unnatural drift as in maybe one week you're just speaking every day meeting up and that and then randomly all of a sudden. you just don't hear from them but that's not a drift that's more like that's ghosting or something or like or like cut lie. off yeah yeah but for the other person as in the victim mm-hmm. or should i say <laughs> the like the, the victim you could see that as drifting that's true yeah. that's yeah. true so Look, if it's natural, just let it go, man. Just let it go. Go on, do <sighs> So, do you know what? I feel like there's so many factors that contribute to this drifting, yeah? Wow. I can't lie. Someone may, may be trying to avoid you. Listen. In this yeah. day... No, That's I'll, be, I'll be honest. Sometimes you don't know how you... Like, there's a thing of self-awareness. You don't know how you come across to people. You might be doing something that's pushing somebody away and then they're drifting. Mm. It's like, for example, like, you'll do something, you don't even clock what you've done. This person may leave you on reds. Mm. They'll just air you. Mm. Like, I feel like... Might invite you to motives no more. Yeah. Because yeah. you see on snap there outside, it's like, wait, what? Ooh. Ooh. That would be... I can't oh. like I've done that. I would have been there last year. <laughs> <laughs> this year is different. This year is different. <laughs> What's going on no, here? Lie. That would actually hurt. No, I did that, that one would... time. What? To somebody? They pissed me off. I didn't speak to them. So I was like, you know what? F you. And I went on holiday with my other friend. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> well to be honest it was unintentional but to them it looked intentional it was intentional it was intentional because, because you, you can't said, book holiday tickets without sorry, referring to them a friend and look oh, this, 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 this a whole other story man <laughs> that friend was clingy as hell and there i just wanted to get away oh, there you go, so it was intentional that's your business I mean. <laughs> But I, I feel like you guys are all saying like let it go let it go but i think either way you should have a conversation but do you know people don't want to have conversation they don't, some people just don't like confrontation mm-hmm. but the, if this is your friend that let's say you've been friends for so long and this is happening like maybe like friends for like 10 years or whatever don't you still think that you need because friendship breakups are hard i feel like it depends yeah. on the quality of the friendship rather than the quantity you can yeah. know someone for years and they're not a good friend that's you can true. meet someone for one year and honestly they're your your that is actually, no that is actually true 
Okay. Also, I think if once you've reached that point, that's when the conversation should be had because mm. there must have been factors for you to come to this conclusion. Mm. It's like, oh, okay, we seem to be drifting. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? So then I guess now that you, whoever you are, <laughs> said that <laughs> you feel like your friend, um, you're drifting from your friend, mm. that's when you should have the conversation. That's true. So, so that's why I said. Yeah, so but they, I wanted to say to it. Them is they need to have their conversation with their friend. I wanted to say it. So what happens to a drift? Yeah, yeah but obviously, go. yeah, Breathe. you can let it go at the same time. But okay, but like, you can have a conversation. Yeah, but not go into the conversation with any expectations. I, Guys, I did that. I, I can't lie. What did you do again? <laughs> <laughs> in it. What did you do again? <laughs> Always in my <Mahala. laughs> No, there was one time where crazy <laughs> life. <laughs> <laughs> I did drift I drifted what? and then out of nowhere they said something to me and then it just triggered the whole thing I sent a voice note saying that oh you were such my you know, I held you so high regard and then you just dumped me like that oh. and then they called me a victim oh. was, it, was it long? was the voice note long? <laughs> <laughs> and this was before WhatsApp con- could do the times too oh, oh my god you oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have listened to it I swear if it's longer than the song mm-mm <laughs> No, no, five listen. minutes, no. Yeah, no. It's okay. No. Stop it. <laughs> right, next Why are you one. doing up song in a voice note? Mm-mm. Don't be rude. Stop it, man. It's before right. the, the times two. Nah. <laughs> it was during the times two. Thank you very much. Are you sure? So that's yeah, recent. Last year. So it was, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Keep smiling. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My colleagues brought in bread to the office. <laughs> but what? <laughs> My colleagues brought in bread to the office, but put it on top of the cabinet. Mm. They didn't clean in bracket, but in a wrapper with the bag open. How do I, how do I go about telling them to fix their hygiene when bringing in food to share? I.e. some came, oh no, wait, wait, wait. I.e. some came to grab bread with hand and bop. P.S. The bread was not sliced. They just, them, they, just them, they just grabbed it. They just so wait, let me get, let me get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let yeah, me even, get let me straight. even yeah, stop yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Just at the back and yeah. Don't even want on. it no more. <laughs> so is the bread in question? Is it for the person or just? It's for the. I think it's for the office to share. <laughs> so the colleague brought in the food and put it on top. Person, whoever you are, face your front. That's not your bread. <laughs> <laughs> don't go don't back. touch it because if people are doing it do you know how this clear off that is don't they have knives in office six do you know i, I want to know if this is just the office or the hospital is it an office i think it's an office it says to the office and put it on top of the cabinet they didn't clean the cabinet they put it on top of, and you know those top cabinets are dusty they're going to bread like everyone's pigeons or something open, and then people can <laughs> what <laughs> Like what? <laughs> Not at my office, sorry. Nah, man. Go and buy your so own this bread. This person should just face the front. And yeah, man. Just don't touch the bread. Yeah, yeah. The bin. Watch. No, what? Leave it. Leave oh, it. Leave it to them. Bread. Leave it to them because it's not her bread, isn't it? Exactly. So leave the bread for them. Bread. Yeah. You have your bread over there in the corner. I will have my clean bread <laughs> <laughs> sealed and put in a I secret guess. location so before you somebody go get food poisoning. So everyone go yeah, pink. Yeah, so yeah. I'll be like pick, 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 and they'll all get. So I should have. Oh. Okay, so all right. In okay. COVID times, because COVID's still around. Oh, I don't know. Someone didn't go like achoo, and then everyone just no, the sneeze, and then go. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah and then we like... just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, yeah. So um, face oh your god. front, and just don't get involved. Don't eat the bread. Yeah, man. Buy your own butter as well. Yeah, bring these are one of those simple. things where you have to label stuff that you bring. Absolutely, like, literally, just even if you do that, people will still eat it anyway. It's true. Someone threw away my food, my rice and stew. <gasps> <gasps> right. How dare they? <laughs> it's not like they're gonna cook no, it on a serious note, right? Stew, and, bang. End of it. It was like just like um, like um, no more. goat stew. Oh. Oh. You and had, them, and I had chicken with it. I was so looking forward to that. I opened and they the, ate it. I, no, the thing is, this is what happened. I opened the fridge and I'm like, where is my where's my I can't see my food? 
I and then we have another smaller fridge on in a different part of the office. I went to open it just in case maybe I put it in that one. No, it's not there. So I said, okay. So I opened the bin. Someone had thrown it in the bin. So I don't know. No, 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 no. Actually, no, that's a lie. He, he turned his cap. I didn't, I didn't know. He turned I his cap. <laughs> no, I saw my. I saw my because I usually pull it um in a in a thingy and then I put I will put it in a plastic bag. You know the freezer bags. Mm. So I saw the freezer bag in there. So I was like, okay, no. someone ate, someone ate my food, right? No. And do you know what? I went to the other office. What did I find? My container was washed and it was on the table. Hey! <laughs> oh, oh, freak. Oh. You know the team manager? Yeah. I went to the team manager and I said, somebody, ate, somebody has eaten my food, right? Wow. I, said, I sent an email out to the whole entire team and I said, guys, we're all adults. Why would you go and send an email to the whole team? That's no, 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 that's too passive. That's too passive. No, 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 Everyone, no. you people here, you stop what you're doing right now. <laughs> Line up on this wall. Stupid. No, are you crazy? No, seriously. Your I mind mean, is not on F if you think you're, I'm going to send you an email. <laughs> I was no. so, I was so pissed, right? And then I received an email back from one of the one of my colleagues, and they're like, oh, and they're like, <laughs> hey, chef, the fuse is gone, you know. What? No, the goat like, meat. No, 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 no. no, the way I was looking forward to it. Do you know it's two different meats? I know. Goat is not cheap. No, no, goat's it's expensive. Not. It's because it's Listen, so then another um, <laughs> one of my colleagues Because he lives She was like, Oh, um, <laughs> one of our other colleagues went on annual leave and they left the food in the fridge. So they messaged her to throw away the food in the green container. My container wasn't green, it was light blue. And she's like, So I threw it I threw it away. So they're colorblind. If so they that, ate so, it, I would have been it would have been better because at least somebody ate it and enjoyed. They threw it in the bin. They should re do they not compensate you back? They're like, oh, um, what's it called? I have some I have rice with me if you if you want it. We don't want to oh, Uncle, Uncle Ben's Uncle Ben's. Yeah, Get off man. She, she was white. Yeah, she was she is. Move out of here. Just salt and pepper if I, you're lucky. I didn't I didn't reply. I didn't reply. You might even even get the sprinkle of olive oil if you're lucky. So pissed. Guys, I was so pissed off. <laughs> like, so, uh. Anyway, next slide, let me <laughs> <laughs> these ones this is where criminal this, record is what coming. is going on in the office because this is another colleague oh gosh my colleague is very nice but won't shut the fuck up oh uh, for example i will have my headphones on and she's still talking i will even try to ignore but if it's just me and her at a time or she said my name i cannot escape how to stroke the balance between being anti versus enforcing that silence is great stuff I feel like it's an indirect against me, you know, because I'm that person at work. <laughs> well, you talk to people. Yeah, I'm at work. I'll be like, oh, guys, you're all right. Even with headphones in. No, you're all right. I'll be like, you're all right. How's your day been? But the person has headphones in. Yeah. I don't care. You have to hear my voice. No, Shannon. But then. Shannon, no. But then the thing is, I'm always on the phone as well, so it depends. Why are you guys looking at me in utter shock? But why are you, why are you disturbing them when they have headphones in? They probably in? disturbed me during the day, so it's my turn to get back at them. Yeah, continue looking confused. It's okay. Carry on. I think that you should pretend to be on the phone. The moment they start talking to you, be like, oh, hello, yeah, okay, yeah, no, I'm just at work. And then they will get back into their work. And as soon as they focus on their work, you stop, you'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll call you back. Bye. I feel like that's too much effort. Just leave no, the room. Okay, what do you want to say? Just leave the room. What, what, what if you're working in the office? You're actually in your zone. You've got your... Because I do sometimes. I put my headphones on and I'm like in the zone working. Oh. All of this is too much effort. I'm airing you. What are you talking oh. to me for? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> if they're calling your name. I can't hear you. Okay, my airpods are in. That's fair. I will see you fair. calling my name because I can live with you very well. But I'm not going to respond. <laughs> what? The social indication <laughs> of me not wanting to talk is my AirPods are in my ears. It actually is. I mean, it depends on your facial expressions as well. Because if you're giving someone an, an inviting look, they might be like, "Oh, I can talk to you." But if you're just like this, but usually when I'm listening to music, I've gone to space, so yeah, I could just. Too. I'm like, you can say that if you're music, working right? and listening to music at the same, like you're zoned out. I'm like zoned out. I mean, I wish like, I could do that. I can't have. Yeah, to sorry, you, you're not allowed. Yours is. Uh, up, yours is up and down, up and down. Oh, yeah, did. Sorry, man. Sorry. It's all right. 
Next dilemma. Wait, so what should this person do? Ignore them? Yeah, air them, man. But what if they're coming? <laughs> oh, you could just go into the business. What are you doing, so, man? So why if they're coming? Just, just be like, unless it's an emergency, I'm on the phone or I'm doing something. Because why? Straight up. I, I can't do yeah. that. Or I'll just be like, like, come back in 30 minutes or something. I'm like, oh, I'm just trying to focus on this email or just or just be like you're disturbing me oh i've said that to someone before i'll be like why are you disturbing me you need to be like in this life now you You have to be blunt man you're too nice yeah you have to be blunt in this life sometimes now man that's true so it's either you get ed or i'm like (laughs) i'm just gonna come give me money or food (laughs) (laughs) what do you want (laughs) okay um i'm seeing someone of a different religion to me (laughs) That sticky stuff. Oh, I'm laughing because. <laughs> Sorry, no. Oh, oh, oh man. Quab says, "Yeah, go on, Quab." No, Quab. What's your? Uh, what's your? Will it ever work? Different religions. I mean, at least finish the dilemma. That is literally. Oh, is that seeing it? Someone of a different religion to me. Can this ever work? Of course, it can. It can, but it depends on the individuals. Can it die? I've, it, it, I've yeah. religion. Because it's Muslim and Christ, Christianity. Again, I think any relationship can work, but it just depends on the individuals and what they believe in and how deeply they believe in it. Yeah, the deepness actually. Like, yeah, how example, strong? Myself, I'm SDA, so I go to church on Saturdays and yeah. I don't eat pork and all stuff yeah. like that. Most of my exes have been Sunday. Has <laughs> been Sunday. Like yeah, go to church on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. So, at first, like between the two of us, mm-hmm. it's calm. Like we're we're young enough. I'll see you on a Saturday evening. I'll see you Sunday evening. Mm-hmm. When it gets sticky, is when you start thinking about the future. Right, marriage. So now, yeah, yeah, marriage and that, children. Yeah, I'm gonna want the, ch- the children to come to on church Saturday. with me on Saturday. You're gonna want, de- depending on how deep yeah. you are, you're gonna want to want the children to go on Sunday. Well, you've got to week to week. That's a lot that, on the children. Yeah, it's a lot on the children and it causes confusion because then yeah. they won't know what to properly believe in. Mm. Like, for example, they're seeing me not having uh, Cumberland pork sausages and all that. Like, what, the Cumberland and stuff. pork sausages? Prawns, shrimp and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, bottom feeders, isn't it? Yeah. I've got a bottom feeders. What, and then, what is a bottom feeder? Like prawns, as in prawns, yeah. shrimp and that are seen as the pigs of the sea. Yeah, they you eat all can't rubbish. have prawns or shrimp. Yes. If you, if you read, oh, the, if you read, so the, if you read nice. the Old Testament, it actually says it in there. Yeah. They're so nice. Yeah. I couldn't agree with you. Or well, I can't deny because I've never tasted. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so like. Wow. But then yeah, they're seeing so that mum is yeah, bare eating yeah, it. It's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad, why? Dad, why are you not yeah. eating? Yeah, it will, be, it will cause confusion. I, yeah. I agree. Like, in terms of if it's just like a fling. Or like mm. a relationship that you don't really see care about, or don't yeah, see, see going forward, in, then, then I you think do that's, your thing. Yeah. But it, when if you're looking to get serious, yeah. it's a conversation that needs to be had. And if it, and then if it's if it's like I'm strong in my faith, you're strong in your faith. Then what happens? Then I'd say the best thing would be to end, because you don't want to lose your faith, faith. <laughs> even though both Christian. Mm. But again, denomination. It's, yeah, it's different. And the beliefs are different. So you don't want to yeah. lose yourself because then, let's be real, resentment is going to start coming. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. like arguments could come. It's like, I didn't even want to come to church with you today. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's like, whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But don't you think that, so at what point, I know you said when you start thinking about the future, but how early on is that? Because now you're like so invested in this person you, you love this person like it's, it will be very difficult to then be like yeah mm. will there not be any sort of compromise what kind of compromise could there be though you see in Unless... with my situations they it's always been difficult because the compromise is like it's either one person's thing yeah. or mine yeah 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 because mm. like i said the main fact like one of the main things is sunday versus saturday mm. if i know that you really don't want to go to church on saturday and you know that mm. i won't go to church on sunday Sorry. like there can't be a compromise there. Like maybe now in the dating stage or before that, mm. but like, again, like I said before, mm. kids and that come in, Yeah, maybe we can work something out. 
but the main thing once you start thinking about family you gotta all be of mm. one mind mm. so what if you guys are like what, okay so what if family are like no but one of them are you know they're happy to convert to your side of the but but your your family or their families are like no that's just messy up just move out that's would you wait still so s- what the so if, if you're talking from me my okay. girl said she would become sda but yes, her family but her are not family on it. Are like no well then that's the family's problem i'm not marrying the family okay I'm what if your family's like no as in me becoming yeah. Sunday again. That's my family's problem. It's mine and my wife's relationship. Okay. Speaking about family, actually, how how much of an input do you guys take from the families when you are in a relationship? I'm stubborn, isn't it? Me too. I'm stubborn. So I, 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 stubborn. I, I, but I've been on the side where the family doesn't like me, right? Because I'm not from. Doesn't that make mm, it so from difficult? A, from a certain country. Mm. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So what what do you do in that situation? Oh, I left. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, oh, I left. No, it took a while, but I left because yeah. the way I did things and the way they did things, I, I, it's, it's... Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm, I'm stubborn enough in it. Mm. Like I'm stubborn too that you would just be like, yeah, it's like what my family's saying doesn't matter. Yeah, because if I know that I want to be with you, yeah. and I see a future with you, yeah. and we're of like, like the same mind, mm. that's all that matters. Okay, and if the family don't like, suck it up. In terms of marriage, they're like, we don't support it. Suck it up. Oh, okay. Either come or don't come. So you're willing to le- like, be estranged from your family, basically? Yeah. If I found if my woman... Found... Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's fair. Hey. You're not? No, my family are my bodyguards. I need them. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? No. Yeah, man. No, that's true. That is so cute. Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> That is so cute. Bless your heart. Okay. Next that oh Jesus. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Suffering from fat pussy guy. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> That's what they said. She said, suffering from fat pussy girl, and I don't know how to make my pussy pop less. People be falling in love. How do I f- <laughs> Yeah, that's a question for you too. <laughs> <laughs> why is your question for just us two? why do you like fat pussy firstly, pussy firstly yeah. I can't <laughs> like, 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 like what do you want me to say I ain't got a pussy yeah but like <laughs> do you enjoy fat pussy because she's saying that it's, it, it's making men fall in love because her pussy fat okay <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me I to do know. do you like girls you, with fat yeah. pussy look <laughs> Look, what's wrong, what's man? It doesn't matter if it's fat or skinny. <laughs> <laughs> it feels nice, it feels nice. That's it. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I ain't here to push our shame. Shannon, how should how should she make it pop less? How, why do you want to make it pop less? I don't get the question. Like, dude, honestly, <laughs> sis, live your like, best life and do up enjoyment. Like, if you want a break, take a break. If people are falling in love, that's their business. Do you know what I mean? Just, know, just stop moving. Just keep if, moving. If the initial, <laughs> why do you look so confused? <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Right? I'm gonna if leave it to you. It's just like a one night stand or something. Then and they're falling in love. That's their problem because they're delete. Nobody wants. <laughs> if it's like your boyfriend, then right? Do you fall in love? Like I, I don't get it, girl. I think you should no, I don't it. know what the dilemma is. Here. Listen, enjoy it. Everyone has that body part that they enjoy. Clearly, everyone is enjoying this body body part on your behalf. Oh yeah. I think you should learn to enjoy, enjoy it as well. It. Let them fall in love. Just you know. Just you, in, you have an army of of lovers. It's okay. Yeah, just just enjoy life. That's my say. <laughs> there you go. I don't know how that is even a dilemma, girl. Uh, yeah. yeah, anyways. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one's bad. Oh. I ask security at work. What's going on with this work, people? Stay away from security. Gosh. No, I ask security at work to, t- to turn off the escalator camera so I could trip the manager I didn't like. In brackets, she was bad mind. But he refused and thought I was joking. Even though I asked again, the gag is, I'm serious. Like, would it be bad if she tripped and had some time away to think up on her behavior? Why do I feel this one of my colleagues? 
<laughs> no, what's going on with the at you people's workplace? Because <laughs> okay, firstly, the beef can't be that serious. Where they're trying to cause a serious injury, injury, <laughs> <laughs> and getting the security guard in on that too. <laughs> He's an, a, an accessory. Ever heard of a uh, what's it called joint enterprise? Yeah, do you know about that? <laughs> what? Have I said, can you turn off the escalator <laughs> turn so my manager can slip to her like, to her damnation? I don't want to know who this person is. <laughs> nah. So, how do you, you know what? Whoever you are, yeah, DM the the sitting tight podcast Instagram, yeah, and the, <laughs> I don't know what you look like guys would do, but you need to be exposed. This is crazy. <laughs> this is craziness. What? what? How, do you, how do you suppose she deals with the manager? She said the manager is back now. Do you know how she should deal with this? Job. She should check herself into a mental health asylum. Because what is this? <laughs> Listen, she, this is only thoughts. She, just wants, she, just, action she just wants small injuries. So she She's can... asked the security twice. Twice, yeah. But, what, but she hasn't actioned on it. That is actually because, because, because she hasn't gone and done it. Actually. I know, but that's because the security guard is like, Haha, shut yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to encourage this. I'm sorry. But girl. I think she just wants a small injury because she said, Then why don't you just said, Would it be bad if she tripped and had some time away? Time, time away. Time. Put in her food so she thinks she's got IBS then. Oh. You've done that, you've done that before, haven't you? <laughs> well, she has, she has, look at, look at. <laughs> she's guilty. <laughs> guilty. <laughs> I've always wanted to do it, but I've never done it. My conscience will eat me up inside, so I've never done it. But I've always thought about doing it. What, she, you, you, you also <laughs> no, actually, I think she has because she mentioned laxative before in the it's previous. It's true. In the previous it's true. Yeah. You, episode, nah, you met, very, you're yeah. somebody. You're yeah. somebody that's too excited about laxatives. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it before. I like it when everyone has a poo. Okay, I'm a nurse. That is hilarious. <laughs> I've never done it. Laxatives don't dissolve in, in drinks. So what should she do? Guys, oh, she's are, are guilty. Are you worried about your drink? Are you worried about your drink? Where is your drink? Yeah, where is I don't want drink? it anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it anymore, man. Go. Maybe um leave the job. If pray. it's that bad. Yeah, pray. pray because pray. you need eternal <laughs> deliverance. <laughs> I like, the thing is, what's going on that's so bad that you want to do that to your manager? Right. How do you know the manager ain't slept with her husband or her boyfriend or even trashed her house or, or ruined her job opportunities or even ruined her or gave her? No, when you're her driving her. on the road like this and then somebody just goes, <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say! <laughs> what? Where did you go? <laughs> no, but we don't know what the manager's done to her for her to feel like this. She just says she's bad man. But you know, given the crazy level of this person, they would have said if she if had she did, right, that's that true. did any light of that madness. To her, to just but she said him. just because she's bad, bad man. man. Probably she said no to her taking annual leave on a certain day. Oh, just book your ticket and then call off sick in it. Or she's made her stay late. Yeah, in, multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> Is it really that? If it's she, like that, then she, she's she's not okay. She literally just said bad man. She's yeah. She just said she's. But bad, bad man. man can mean a lot of things. Anything. Nah, yeah. But it's, but it's small man. That's what you think. So you think she's just being extreme? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's a bit mad, sis. Or. I don't even know at this Maybe point. Maybe it's broken. Go or sis. Yeah. Pray. Leave the, job. Leave the job and pray. Um, next dilemma. <laughs> I want to live out of the UK, but scared to leave family, friends, and everything I know to isolation. Oh, I've, I've been thinking about moving to Canada. Just Me do too. it. Yeah. What? I'd say mm-hmm. do it, man. Are because you, you don't. You don't. Delete. I wouldn't because I like London, innit? Mm. Oh, first. And in terms of work. The pain in London can't be like matched. It can it, be unless can unless be. Yeah, unless I go abroad abroad. Yeah. But I don't see myself being abroad abroad. But what about the isolation? Because you guys are saying that she should do it. Yeah, go over or she or he. Go over friend. Yeah. Um. I would say. I don't think take the opportunity. Like if if you if you're thinking about it, it means that it's like that dear to your heart that yeah. you're really considering yeah. it. Yeah. So just take the opportunity. You can always move back. That's true. You can always move back. If it don't work out, you can come back. Come back. Just you know make sure you read the small print of some jobs because you, have you, to actually, you might be forced to stay there for a whole year. That's so actually true. There you go. That's actually Apparently true. they steal your passport in other countries as well, so you can't huh? come back. Who does that? You don't know that? Oh, did huh? they? It, oh, yeah, let's not name names, otherwise we'll get murdered. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, just, just, just make sure you think about, just make about 
Like, make sure you think about the decision mm. yeah. before making up your mind. And you could always go with a friend or maybe pick somewhere where you have a family member so you don't feel so isolated. That's the yeah. one. That's so another like, one yeah. as well. Yeah, man. Okay. So last dilemma before we go on to you guys' um, debate for a little bit. I've been... Co Why is this another dilemma again? I've been considering ass shots. Huh? In bracket UK versions. Because some of us are lacking and I don't have the courage to, yet. Go gym, man. Thank no, you. This is what I was saying. I, Shannon is all for ass shots. No, no, okay. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Listen, yeah. Our shots are dangerous, but bomb fillers are all right. However, I'll be Isn't honest. Isn't fillers the same as ass no, shots? No, 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 no. What the hell is it's it's medical grade silicone. The same one you use for your lips. Mm. They use it for your ass. Is that the shots? No, no, shots are so I don't know what What's the shots? Are. I think they mean the fillers. No, 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 no. What, what's, 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 the, what's the material that they're putting inside? The material. So it's like... Silicone. Like silicone. silicone. So the same thing that used to be... That you used to put around your Blackberry. The case. Oh, the medical grade silicone. Dead. dead. Like, you know like how women get, like, I breast implants? That's silicone. Yeah. Yeah, they, they do filler. I don't know what our shots are made out of, but I know it's dangerous. Stop shaking your head. <laughs> But <laughs> I think go to the gym and get back shots, man. Oh, <laughs> no, I'll be honest. Yeah, go those to the gym. two, man. Go to the gym as those hard. Two. It works because it depends on your genetics, it depends on how hard you train and how much you eat. <laughs> Honestly, I want to throw him off the chair. <laughs> All right, man. No, I shot, um, yeah, back shots, yeah. They, they, yeah, they work. Oh, yeah, they do. All the... Exactly. Okay, we didn't need sound effects, but... You can get that done for free. Yeah. True. Yeah. And then any, do, any, do any think... guy will do that for free for you. It's true. <laughs> no, Jim, okay. it's really hard to build back, Jim. I can't lie. It is, but, but you, you have, have to, to be, be consistent. There you go. Yeah, you, have you have to, to be, be consistent. consistent. And, yeah. like, you have to know why you're there. Yeah. Get a big and, and follow the plan and follow the plan and like your mentors have to be like focused i'm going gym mm. this is why i'm going gym mm. Mm. squats it's, no 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 i'm sorry i have to say squats don't do anything i have not squat in four years and i've grown my bum i'm so sorry squats are not it it's your hip thrust your Lunges. rdls your bulgarian split squats yeah good. and your donkey kicks lunges are, are good as well Listen, the last two weeks I've been I've been, I've been pumping it up, so I know. Pump, listen, pump, it, pump it up, pump it. Uh, and it Good. Uh, uh, thank you. So don't go and do the blackberry case thing. It's not that deep. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that deep. Speaking about back shots. Why, um, why did you look at me? All why? She was looking at you. Why, why are you looking at me? <laughs> well, because you're the victim. I'm not the victim. You're the corporate. Yeah. To this topic right now. Why? Quabs is convinced that Shannon hates men. 100. No, I don't. I don't really Shannon, know. do you want to... This is the court the court of sit type podcast. Oh, yeah. Do you want to defend yourself? Yeah. She does. <laughs> no, I do Wait, first of all, why do you think that Shannon hates? Because he's salty. Because everybody who's a fan of this podcast, so I suggest that you go back and, and look listen. at the episodes. In fact... Don't listen to them. Watch them. So you can see her facial expressions when she's speaking about us as well. How many episodes are we in? This. Ten. What is this? Ten. Ten. You yeah. see? Double digits. <laughs> and not one nice thing to say. No. No. Like. No. No. <laughs> you're, no you're buried. <laughs> no. Don't be rude. Uh, don't be rude. Okay. No, but all due respect, no one's really put any topics out there where I can speak positively about them. That is very true. And I think we speak... What? No, we speak about from like experience most of the time. Mm -hmm. And what we, we know that some of our friends have experienced and mm -hmm. what we've experienced ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, and also having guy friends. Mm -hmm. I don't have guy friends, so... I do. Mm -hmm. And? And I learn. <laughs> yeah. And I see, what, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So my perspective so, would be a lot different because I don't have guy friends for obvious reasons. Well, for my, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. Yeah, I think I have a lot of evidence because I have guy friends. And, I don't. I'm like a typical I'm, woman. But you've me. experienced stuff I, and some of your friends, friends have. Are, oh, there you go. I hear it. But if someone wants to ask a positive, like, oh, what's, what would you have to say? And there's something positive. I'll have loads of things to say. say would you say one now? Why are you putting me on the spot? <laughs> 
say one now. No, that like, like ask me something and then I'll think of something positive to say. Go on then. What do you like about men? And if you say the middle part <laughs> <laughs> No, do you know what? It's it's the idea you just feel like uh, you feel safe. What do you? Okay. Yeah, I feel safe. Not With around men. this one. Not around this one. But why are you looking at me like <laughs> No no <laughs> Look, I feel safe? Mm. Like, I don't know what, like, your phone is for, like, what? Go like, on. <laughs> it's because you're asking Go me. On. I'll take off my shirt and I'll put it in your eye. <laughs> like, I don't know what else you want me to say. Mm. Maybe a nice thing? Yeah. Oh, men are wonderful. They're the kings of this earth. And they deserve to be treated like kings. Eh? Okay. Where did this <laughs> sense come from? <laughs> she needs to have been here from episode one to nine. <laughs> No, so you know what? No. Maybe I should be here every week. No. <laughs> I think it's because you're here. Yeah. No, it's not. So What's next what? episode? I hate man. The kings. The kings? Yeah, the kings of the earth. Kings no, of the earth. There's, some king, there's some kings Sound out like there. No, there's some they kings out there that. that actually treat women amazingly. And That's There's true. a small minority. Like, kings, you need to come up because you need to teach these little princes how it's done. There's too many frogs and not enough princes. Oh. So I'm a frog. Oh. Are you a frog? Quabs used to be a frog, I'm not gonna lie. He used to be. Oh, no, I'm not surprised. Quabs, oh, he used to be she said she's not surprised. Oh, yeah. Man. Quabs? No, life is different. Man. Quabs has enjoyed life. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not enjoy me? <laughs> life is different now, man. Life is different now, man. Did you never feel bad? No. What? I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. You didn't feel bad for treating them the way you treated them? You're making it seem like I was one tyrant. You were. I mean, you were. Oh, no, we don't have to go into it. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to go into it. But um, yeah. Do men feel bad when they treat women? You know. Again, I'm gonna make a disclaimer. I was not a tyrant. Yes, he was. <laughs> he was. What? Mm -hmm. It just depends because there's a lot of layers in it. Okay. There's a lot of layers. It's a pyramid. Layers, sorry. <laughs> nah, yeah, it's, yeah. There's a lot of layers to why certain stuff happens in it. Why don't you just leave them alone? Like, they didn't ask for you to come into their life to just... It's true. To do that, then life would be boring. See, they do it to entertain themselves. Oh, no. They, they don't they, think they don't about... Like, they don't Who's think they? Who's they? they? You guys! You people! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you Jack people, Rose, man. You people. They actually do it to the entertain is, yeah. themselves. I have a question. So, when you start talking to a girl, do you know your intention? Or oh, from the beginning? From the beginning. Yeah. There you go. You answer my question for all you boys out there. So, you know okay, when. So, you're only talking about that small minority? No, I'm talking about people like you as well. Oh. It's not me. He's not like that now. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you've changed. I'm proud of you. Actually, he might be having some traits still in him. Oh. But. <laughs> I learned from you. Whoa! <laughs> and the plot thickens. Excuse me. See, I am a good girl. I am so innocent. Nobody asked you to defend yourself, so now you're making, so making yourself. You know, like that. Oh, as you guys can see. <laughs> see, when I, when I, when it was on me, I just took it. But now she's defending herself. Oh, wow. well, te well, based on this conversation, I'm the angel of the house, so we're gonna keep it like that. Thank I can't you. lie. Lorenzo told me that she learned from you. What did you learn? From yeah, me? I did. Whoa! Me! Oh, why are you being this so defensive? I mind my business and I read my books and I lie in my bed and I watch Made in Chelsea. I'm not having this. How long do you think? And I think we're running out of time, but guys, this is interesting. How long do you think um, you should wait until you go into the next relationship? I think it depends on you as a you person. Break up. Depends on you as a person. Is that actually your time? No. Nah, I wouldn't say so. Because, yeah, like I said, it depends on you as a person because it depends what you want mm. in life. Like, if you're young and that, yeah, that, it doesn't really matter. Of course you say that. It doesn't really matter. Do you know what I'm saying? Of course you say that. But now, I feel like, because now at the age that we're at, mm. we, I guess, date with intention. Yeah. So all of that baby boy lifestyle is moist now. True. Like if I see like none of my peoples are doing that baby boy lifestyle. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because like you're what 26, 27, 28 and you're still there trying to juggle like seven girls. Come on, man. 
See, this is what he was doing, juggling seven girls. That, that's a lie. But why did you just use that's that as, a, as an example? Because seven is my lucky number. No, he's talking from experience. He's talking from experience. Yeah. We'll let these crazy ladies <laughs> run with their uh, agendas. <laughs> <If> I speak. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, juggling. Doesn't it depend on how much, how long you were in that relationship for and also how much you loved that person? Yeah and no. Because like I said, it just depends on the person. Because, okay, cool. You could be with somebody for Because I'm not talking about ages. rebounds. I'm talking about going into another relationship. Yeah. So you could be with somebody for ages. Mm. But then remember, relationship, like long relationships don't end abruptly. True. It's got, it's got to that it's point. It's got into that point. So yeah. probably one person or mm. the both of you have clocked out a year before it ends. True. Are you talking from experience? No. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, what's called? Yeah, I've clocked out a year before yeah. it ends. Like you girls, you won't end a relationship when you feel like you want to end a re relationship. Yo, I thought you take you girls. We take time. Yeah, we're very. Um, yeah. W once <laughs> if we end a relationship, it means we have been prepping for time exactly. to get to that point. Yeah. Little things. Like, no, you don't think so. Mm. I think so. Absolutely. I think if a girl ends a, re a relationship, they have been thinking, they've thought of all the possibilities to try and make it work mm -hmm. and try and stay in. Exhausted for all their options. And I feel that was tricky for doing that. Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, but no, no, no. I feel no, like <laughs> No, it's no. coming for you They're right no 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 do you know what uh -huh. yes we do but sometimes i feel like we're stupid for doing that because it's at the detriment yeah. of our mental health no that's true i'll give that's an example true. imagine someone stayed with somebody and they're about to break up with them and then their mom died oh they have to stay i'm sorry no i'm still breaking up with you you can't that, you know, one, that one is you are definitely talking from experience because where did you get that example from <laughs> yeah. she she comes from her life story <laughs> <laughs> okay so so you stayed with him before like you was gonna lock it off but yeah. then his mum went upstairs yeah and then you said i can't leave you now that because I, I, I tried two women can't leave you at the same time yeah oh I that's no i still leave so how long after his mum's death did you leave yeah I think it was six months okay you gave him some time to heal i'll still leave kind of healed, instantly healed together instantly yeah so he can heal together all at once I so you can mourn the death of your mum and mourn our relationship at the same time evil. so that you can recover so that when you recover because okay he's mourned his mum for six months now right and now you've broken up and now he has to re-mourn again oh no that's his business and, and no because he will mourn if he mourns together i am that's nice that's how you that's how you break somebody and these lot have been saying that men are heartless. No, I yeah, need men to, are heartless. I'm sorry, I need to think about myself you as well. You wanted to lock it off like, at the same know, time. No, his no, mother, no, 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 the lady who gave birth to him, has left Earth forever. Yeah. Until the second coming of Christ. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait she was to leave at the same time. Get out of me. At the same time. No, but did we not just say, did we not just say that women takes a, we take a while to, to get there to, uh, yeah. to so that means, yeah, why am I going to hang in six more bumps? I'm ready now. Come out. on. What color is your heart? Is it black? It's red. It can't be. <laughs> because if you're going to lose somebody. They need to mourn. It's oh, all. But what, I'm not the bad person. Like, well, I think that it, I I'm so sorry. I've come for the wrong person. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nah, I lied, I lied. <laughs> I'm not happy with this. <laughs> well, no, hey. no, but it's yeah. no, but seriously, it makes sense because why should makes I? Sense to who? But why should I? Okay, imagine if this guy, right, in the relationship, it has like my mental health has deteriorated so bad that literally I don't know who I am anymore. I'm at the edge, and like I'm not gonna give you six more months to heal. I'm so sorry. I'm out. I'm so sorry for your mom's death. But can I can I say something? Else? You're single right now, and I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna bounce. I have something to say. I think another reason why I think I stayed for another six months. I enjoyed being a passenger princess. <laughs> I know the matter. <laughs> you stay to use him as a driver. No, that's his words. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She stayed to use him as a driver. I she wanted to be a passenger. <laughs> 
And you're telling me I'm bad on, 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 a, on a serious note, do you know what it is as well? When you've been for some when you've been with someone for a period of time, it's that companionship and the idea of not having that companionship anymore. It's kinda of scary to detach yourself from that. So yeah, I laugh and say I want to be a passenger princess. Detach yourself from the car. <laughs> I'll do everything I say, just gonna pass up from the, the passenger seat. <laughs> yeah. But it's like that it's gonna be You possible. didn't stay for the relationship. I she did. stayed for you the stayed. car. For the driving around. Miss Daisy. She was driving Miss Daisy. Listen, I built that person up to where they are today. I was doing ride or die. I will never do that again. Yeah, but women are very stupid when we're in love. Women are in love, but dumb. That's what I was Dumb. Like, oh, you're going to be my base forever. No, 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 we're actually dumb when we're in love. Like, we're stupid. For real. Don't put down about about yourselves, guys. No, no, it's constructive criticism. You lot are smart people. I know we are. Don't call yourself dumb. You guys now. Don't call yourselves dumb. That's he just is one it. of the men that makes us dumb. Bam. This is a defamation of character. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> no, so tell me Shannon's one is worse, please, because me, at least I'm going. This one is staying to use car. No, 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 he no, just no, lost no, his no. mum and I you're using him as an ego joke. You lost, you lost, you lost. No. You didn't want to be alone. No. Listen, do you know what it is? So when you you're used young them. and naive. God, you're making me sound like a villain, but I like being a villain anyway. No, but listen. <laughs> okay, you <laughs> villain. No, but there's other reasons. Mm. But obviously, me saying I'm the passenger princess. But there are other reasons. Imagine you're stuck to that like, person like glue. Mm. Like to the point where so you're with them all the time. Yes, mm. and it's like, how can I? It was always it was almost scary to think. Okay, if I detach myself, how would I feel? But mm. I did in the end. The breakup happened. I was like, okay, give me my stuff back. Bye. I don't want to see your face. Goodbye. Ugh, I want to talk to you. Go talk to your foot. I don't want to see you. But listen, like, <laughs> yeah, look at your foot. Talk to it. Talk to your foot. <laughs> Hello. But it's like it's just that I feel like it's easier for guys to just detach themselves. Okay. Whereas women, it's harder so to touch. So, would you stay if a if you're if a girl that you you wanted to you you want to break up with, their mum passes away? Yeah, I'm not that heartless, man. That is not being heartless. That's being but considerate. I'll... Considerate to whose feelings? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's being considerate to who? Okay, to both so of hard. us. How? Because I'm I'm being considerate in. Letting you yeah, mourn in one go. Yeah, stop, it's all right, man. It's all so right. So that you're not having it's two right, periods man. of mourn in life. It's all right, man. I think, I think leave. I would leave. Like, I I'm, you. if I've yeah, reached that like, point where I've got to break up man. with you, just because your mum died, I'm sorry your mum died, yeah? Oh, have you seen that video um, in that school? I'm sorry your grandma died, yeah? But if... Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! To the schools, the video like the Yorkshire kids. Oh yes, yes, like, yes, I'm yes, sorry, yes, yes, idea, yes, but yes. I don't. I can't even say what she was like because she was just trying. Yeah, <laughs> well, no, I'd I'd stay for a bit. I'd stay for a See, bit. I yeah, probably the six yeah. months, but I wouldn't be using for the car. No, um, okay, that, that... <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'd stay for a bit and then be like, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, New this Year's is all happening. Then you start a fresh New Year's Day like me. Huh? <laughs> I want to start by, 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 by New Year so, with a fresh start. So wait, so wait. Hold on. <laughs> wait, so wait, no, I'm so sorry. She didn't do it for him. She did it for herself because now you're saying that. No, it was a mutual agreement on New Year's Eve. So oh, you you both said to each other on New Year's Eve we're gonna lock off this relationship. In a sense, yeah. What kind of what? Who initiated the conversation? Yeah, he did. So I said, okay, that's fine. Okay, huh? give me my stuff back. Happy New Year. Wait, what? So he locked yeah. it with you? Yeah. But you said you locked it with me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> wait, no, no, Shannon. So wait. His mum His, mu- his mum went upstairs. Let's let's do the timeline. His mum went upstairs. Number one. Number two, you stayed with him to be passenger princess. And because he was with each other every day. Yeah, 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 you're attached. Number four. He said... He gave you the we need to talk text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, that was yeah, that was essentially. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Number five. Mm-hmm. He said it's the thirty first of December. <laughs> oh no, don't say it like that. I just got a text on the thirty first of December. So I said, okay, that's what I'm oh, So he said we need to talk text and then did enter and then continue typing. Jesus. No, it was just like a I woke up. 
oh was, no to be fair i woke up on the on the eve and then it's like oh by the way like yo go go blah, blah, blah. i was like okay that's fine give me my stuff back i knew what i was gonna say wait so 31st he sent you these no on the 30th but i woke up on the 31st okay and then did he say that let's start a fresh new year's or was that is... no that was my take on it so okay, that was me saying okay you're going into the new so, year single and so he finish. wanted you to end <laughs> 2018 you said you was 21 21 in it 2018 yeah. wow calculations <laughs> he wanted to end 2018 and leave you there too yeah that's fine yeah yeah that's outrageous well the thing is i don't want to be a bitch for breaking up with him because his mom died so i'd rather just stay and when he felt like okay let me be cold cold, See, cold. if you had broken up with him you wouldn't have had to have hey like hey 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 you quiet <laughs> On that corner, <laughs> on that corner, over there, you, you, you had broken up with him. We lost it up. To, you wouldn't have had to get that text. I what? Know. Well, now that you say it like that, see, I'm not as heartless as you think, isn't it? Yeah, I can't lie. You got, you got shagged, man. Oh no, it's okay. I apologize. Um, <laughs> no, no, not no, this no, ending no, an apology. He apologized. No. Not this ending an no. apology. I was gonna apologize on behalf of him, but I don't know if he's sorry, so I can't. Oh, oh no, 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 he was sorry. Don't worry. He is very. Oh, oh, not the why, why, why does she act like she's part of the mafia or something? <laughs> like, um, yeah, he was. Don't you worry. Was it, don't worry. I dangled him in the yeah. sea and now some piranhas were eating his head. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, oh, that's crazy. You know when you move on, people realize what a loss you were. Nah, I yeah, hear it, I hear that's it. So true. good. In fact, do you know, Com was beautiful because it was going into COVID as well. So, oh, I used to help. Listen, you had no finances for a oh. good nine months. Good Com as a bitch. You oh. suffered. Yeah. Do you know what? I really hate, not hate, but like, you know, when people. <laughs> <laughs> you know when, you know when like a woman has built a man, like That's built him up, mm. you know, like even like, in terms of personality as well as you know financially whatever and then they leave that woman and now another woman has to come and enjoy what i've built mm -hmm. shannon don't even that's fucking no ridiculous. do you know what i feel like men don't like it when women see them at their most vulnerable i think that's what it is yeah. oh yeah that's a new that's a universal thing thank you because you um we <laughs> Well, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm only going to speak for black Africans because I'm one of them. Okay. We're not allowed to be seen as weak, innit? Mm. So, we can't show you that vulnerability. But this is someone that you're doing life with. Yeah, but if you've seen, every, you've you seen every bit of vulnerability mm. and you're moving up, you don't want to be reminded of that. You don't want to be around someone that's reminded you of that. So, so that, that's, that's something... That's one. And also, the fact that there's been a lot of cases where the girl is making him seem like some waste man because he's down there mm. that's true so, huh? oh shannon oh, that me. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying shannon i'm trying it i'm trying to and you wonder why <laughs> <laughs> guys i'm only joking shannon, you are I'm not, only joking you are not, you are not shannon. but yeah like that's i think that's the worst <laughs> I think that's the worst for me. I think that's what that's the worst thing Sorry. a woman or my girl could do to me. What build make, you up? No, no, oh, no, no, no. Make, no, no. make me feel like a waste man okay. whilst I'm down. Oh, okay. Yeah, kick you while you're down. Yeah, yeah kind like of whilst I'm trying to get myself together. Okay. And you're just nitpicking, right. saying, or even coming to compare me with your friend's boyfriend. Oh no, who's who's been working when he was sixteen? I've been in uni. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah, or yeah. education, and he's doing apprenticeship not saying that apprenticeships are bad because they're yeah, amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. like i would encourage anyone to do an yeah. apprenticeship yeah, but they've been getting paid earlier they've exactly been, so yeah. they've got that financial stepping stone beforehand yeah. me yeah, yeah. i've started life with minus yeah. because of uni yeah me too overdraft do you know I, that. So I can't relate oh no i never did overdraft but in terms of like minus i am already yeah, owing somebody just, something i didn't yeah. take any student loans I Shannon, so nobody is so <laughs> i'm sorry what her yeah. parents helped her oh be nice <laughs> I'm be better than I work throughout, guys. Do mm -hmm. this anyway, it's alright. Well, I hear it. Well, big you, man. Big up you, man. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Comparing, it's like, oh, they're always going this place. They're always going that place. He, how come he drives this cup? 
Hello, what baby you, girl, shut your face. Fair, what I will say is, I agree with that, and I'll also be like, if I met you that way, there's no reason why I should come and use it against you because I entered yeah. a relationship knowing that you don't have the funds to be taking me here, there, and back. and a lot of people don't grasp onto that. Yeah. Because they think that, yes, now I'm in a relationship. We get to do a relationship vacation. Right. Uh, <laughs> regular uh, date to Mayfair Centra. It's, 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 it's giving social media. It's, it's social, social media. media. It's, it's social, social media. media. Yeah. Yeah. Social media. It's social yeah. media. Because me, I think some of the best dates you could ever go on mm -hmm. are the ones that don't even require money, bro. No. You go, what's it? You lot know like Greenwich oh, um in the what's park. Called? Greenwich Park. Yeah. That's really Yeah, you just, just imagine chat. Just imagine just... doing little picnic, yeah? Yeah. Put your picnic uh What's this cooking? No no no. no. Like, you, you, you buy, buy stuff. Oh, yeah. Buy yeah. small food like crackers, yeah. strawberries, yeah. all of that, yeah. yeah. Stuff that you can eat without having to rewarm it up in that. Mm. Sitting at Greenwich Park, yeah, maybe a little dog will come and run around you in that, yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. But um yeah, then you look at the sunset and you're looking at all and of love in front of you. Together, See, that's, that's, cute. that's cute. And that, and, that, and, that, and that requires minimal money. Yeah. Little yeah. oyster, like if, you're, you if you're not driving, or you drive, you can park there. Yeah. And then you go and sit inside, you spent, let's say, £10 on munch and drink. True. When you, instead, you will go to uh, this place, Aka. Aka san. Aka. And you're spending. I've actually never been. <laughs> Is it? Oh, I've been. We went for one of, one of the the man man's birthday. Oh. Place. It's thirty though. Is the food nice? Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw, yeah. I saw the portions are small. The portions are small. So but let's save up and go. It's not oh, even yeah, that expensive. Go. It's not even that expensive. No, let's save. I need to save up. <laughs> no, let's go. I need we'll to save September, up. But we have time. But yeah, yeah. No, it, yeah. Hakkasan is nice, but like. For example, you'll get some girls that are expecting Hakkasan on a regular basis, like that. Oh yeah, no, no, that's mad. Like nah, cheeky Hakkasan. No, no, no. It's the the saying is cheeky Nandos. Nandos. <laughs> you mean cheeky Hakkasan? Who's parking there? <laughs> are you crazy? Crazy? No congestion? Are you crazy? <laughs> Have you lost everything on your head? <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, guys, <laughs> it's been great having you here. Did Isn't you it? enjoy it? Yeah, I did, I did, I did. did you? Are you, you going to come back? I was mild. Oh. Are you going to come back? Too chilly today. Hello, why is, everyone, why is he going to remember? Sorry, 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 I was too chilly today. Gonna, I'm going you... for five next why time. Why is he still back? What? Uh, You're rude. <laughs> Very rude. Sorry. Are you going to come back? Anyways, uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. I've had enough. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm okay. joking, I'm joking. No, I don't even want you back anymore. Will, will I come back? Yeah. If I get the invitation? Yeah. Okay, we shall see. We shall Indeed. see. Cool. But yeah. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to this episode of Sitai Podcast. Bye bye. Woo. And goodbye on that note. Yeah, that was awkward. Because she said woo like he was going to say woo. No, I you said bye bye. I was going to say bye bye. So that's that's what you what we said woo. Okay, then, fine. Do you want to join us with our woo or our goodbye? Are we not. We always do bye bye at the end. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're so confused. You All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Sit Thai Podcast. Bye-bye. Cheerio. Cheerio.